Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program which results in a null pointer exception. Let me answer. In Java, when you are trying to perform some operations using the object reference of a class, which is pointing to null, whether using that object reference, which is pointing to null, you are calling a predefined variable or predefined method to perform some operations in the Java code. In such kind of situations, you are going to get null pointer exception because the object reference of the class is not pointing to a particular object, rather it is pointing to null. So there's no problem if the object reference of a particular class or interface is pointing to null. But when you try to perform the operations using that object reference of that class, which is pointing to null by calling its predefined variables or method, then only you will get an exception known as null pointer exception. Let me explain this with an example with a, in a practical way. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID. With practical demonstration, the answer for this question will be very easy and very understandable, guys. So theoretically, you may not be able to understand that, but uh, practically, you'll be able to understand the answer for the question. So I'll just create a random class with some random name, say class 10. Inside the class, inside the class, I'm going to create, let's say any class case. You can take any predefined class in Java. Let's say I'll take string class. If you want, you can take arrays. You can take anything. Okay, string str is equal to, instead of creating an object to this side, like new string of and all those stuff, I'll just put null here. Okay, there's no problem so far, okay? You print out this str, the null value will be printed. Object reference is pointing to null. Still, there is no problem in the code. When do you get this null pointer exception? I'm going to show you. You see, when I run this code, null got retrieved and printed here because this object reference of the string class is pointing to null. So you cannot print out the null. Uh, you cannot, uh, you know, uh, there is no object actually attached to this str. So str will give you null here, but you cannot but you cannot perform any operation on this str. For example, if you want to find the length, okay, using this length predefined method of this uh, object reference of the string class, okay, this length predefined method of the string class, if you call using the object reference, which is pointing to null instead of a real object, how can it find the length, guys, okay? When there is no length, this is null, guys, okay? There's no length. It's not a real text, okay? So your yeah, double quotes, so Amarun is there, means it will give four, but in this case, it is pointing to null. In such kind of cases, if you are trying to perform operations such kind on such kind of object references of a class which are pointing to null, it may be length or length predefined method, or it can be any other predefined method like substring, split, whatever it is, guys. It is not possible in Java because this object reference that you are trying to use for calling this methods and all is pointing to null. Because of this reason, you are going to get an exception during the runtime when you run the program in the line eight will get the exception known as null pointer exception. You can see here clearly the object reference is pointing to null. You cannot perform any operations, okay, regarding that class, okay, when it is when the str is pointing to null, okay, string dot length cannot invoke the string dot length because str object reference of the string class, which is object reference of the string class is pointing to null. So in this kind of situations, you are going to get a null pointer exception with practical demonstration. I have shown you how to write a Java program, which results in a null pointer exception. You can Try other classes also, guys, where also you will get the same kind of exception that is null pointer exception. So you can go with any other class instead of the string class and the, which is whose object reference is pointing to null. And if you try to perform some operations on that object reference by calling the predefined variables or methods of that class whose object reference is pointing to null, in Java, you'll get this null pointer exception. So hope, guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.